Have you got to your 50s, 60s, perhaps 70s and thought, I think that's it now, I have to give up on sex or it goes downhill from here. Many guys have this fear as we age, the thought of what if I'm not sexually active anymore? But we don't want that, right? That's why you're here watching this video because there's a part of you that still wants to be sexually active. So in this video, I'm going to bust three big myths that we hear around being sexually intimate as we age so that you can know the truth and also know how to build a sexually intimate, passionate relationship no matter what your age. I'm Shay, I'm a men's coach. I help men to overcome performance anxiety in the bedroom, whether that's erection or ejaculation challenges. So let's start with the number one myth, and that is that sex disappears after the age of 60, 70s. Now, let me tell you, I've spoken with guys right from the age of 17 into their 70s, and one thing that has absolutely been in common, all these guys still want to be sexually intimate. Sex doesn't disappear with age. That is a myth that we hear or we think, oh, you know, things aren't working as well as they used to be. So we create these beliefs that we think, I think that's it now, I think I have to give up on sex. But the truth is, that's not the case. There's actually not an age limit. There's not an age cap on sex. The oldest porn star, Shiego Tokuda, 82. That was two years ago, so if he's still going, he's 84 now. I know that's one example, but there's actually not an age limit to sexual intimacy. So that's the first one. Number two, I can't really get hard after a certain age. There's a few things going on here, right? So first of all, yes, our testosterone drops. That actually happens relatively young. Our testosterone peaks at 17 to 19 years old. So there's no way that we would say, oh, in our 20s, I have to give up on my sex life because my testosterone peaked when I was 17 or 19. We don't say it in our 30s. We don't need to say it in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s or more. Let's also acknowledge that erection challenges do happen as we age. Why is that? We think that it's to do with age. Actually, for most of us, it's to do with a mix of lifestyle and mindset. The lifestyle is a common factor in guys that age, and this is actually cardiovascular challenges. So what that means, whilst there may not be a problem with the heart, it's about how active am I? Therefore, how easily is blood able to flow around my body? How open or closed are my arteries? That's critical when it comes to sex as we know. And then the mindset part is directly linked to that because if we start experiencing erection challenges as we age, we start to think, oh, what if I can't get hard again? What if it happens again? And then that's stacked over years. We eventually just give up on sex because we want to avoid, it feels easier to avoid the embarrassment or the fear of it not working again or not being able to climax or climax in too soon. It's less so that we can't get hard after a certain age, it's more so about what's my lifestyle and what's my mindset around this. There's actually no limit on the body of when we can or when we can't get hard or be sexually aroused. And the third myth is thinking that sex and sexual intimacy you know as we age in the relationship that's something that we did when we were younger it's you know it's not something that we do anymore now and it feels a bit awkward the youngest guy that i spoke to that thought this was in his early 50s and thought you know is it because of my age now as i'm getting a bit older and that that's in his 50s Okay, so whatever age you are watching this, I want you to know that sex is not something that we just do in a relationship when we're younger. Being sexually active and intimate and passionate with each other, building intimacy, is a really important part of the relationship for as long as you both want it to go on for. And yes, that may look different over time. The type of stimulation or how we build up the anticipation or the ways in which we do it may change over time. You know, it's fair to say that even in our 30s or 40s, we don't get erections like how we used to when we were 17 or 19 with our peak testosterone levels. But that doesn't mean that we all of a sudden think we have to give up on sex. As I said at the beginning, I believe you're here because you want to still be sexually intimate at an older age and you can absolutely do that. So with that said, there are three of the top myths around sex busted. If you'd like to get back this feeling of sexual spontaneity, then you will see a video coming up on the screen now to watch next that will show you steps on exactly how to do that. I look forward to seeing you there.